ES335, the guitar that really does do everything. saying about this guitar that it does everything um, basically you can do anything from straight ahead jazz with it to funk and it always fits within the mix beautiful this I bought this in uh, 2016 um, I did a review on it didn't come out too well actually because the pictures didn't sync with the words or anything very well so I just thought I'd revive it to show you how good the guitar actually is and it does do absolutely everything that you'd want or expect a guitar of, of Gibson's quality to to achieve so let's start with I know it's an unusual place to start with all the dirty sounds that you've got but if I if I take this onto the neck pickup um, where, where it is at the moment it's it's a very very rich thick sound it's not like the Les Paul it's slightly darker than that but Again, it's not as toppy as the Les Paul, it's a, it's a thicker sound. using it dirty. So this is both pickups on together, not just in the tone controls or anything, just like I did with the Les Paul uh, review. And if I start to just change the volumes on one of them, so let's take the, the uh, neck pickup volume down slightly and you'll see. the tone that was uh, Steely Dan, uh, Larry Carlton used on a, on a Steely Dan track um, which was Don't Take Me Alive, you know. And all that's done just by backing off the volumes. Again with the tones off you can create that woman tone that you could... Eric did this great effect. Um, so that's 
the dirty sounds. But let's try this guitar clean and see what we get. So let's just move to the neck pickup again. Um, and just let's just back off the 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 tone slightly and the volume by about one and back off the tone to about three. It's a jazz guitar. volume down at round about eight and a half or nine. with the two pickups on and then just again let's just keep the tone high but take the treble up and the bass pickup well the mid neck pickup off slightly <laughs> Again, keeping the tone straight up. As you can see, once again, it's giving you a funk tone. Again, with just a few little tweaks, let's take it to the um, to the bridge pickup. size again takes take the tone off slightly with this and you get As I was trying to say, you've actually got everything with this guitar, um, every tone possible or every style possible, um, except possibly if you start to look at fusion, you'll see it's not used very much there. But if you watch some of my earlier videos where I did some fusion stuff on a 335, it works perfectly well in that format as well as anything else. It is one gorgeous instrument and that's all I can say about it. it it's I mean it's been my 
mainstay guitar for ages now. I use it a lot for recording, but not necessarily to take out live, just because often I'd rather not deal with the one problem that it slightly has, which is in, in very loud places, it, it can tend to feedback. I mean, there, there are ways around that, but I'm just, just it, because it's semi, semi hollow or semi acoustic, uh, it, it, it's got a, a block in it, which, which, which prevents that happening a lot. But it is a beautiful guitar and, and rings like a bell, as you can see. Thanks for watching.